King Kamehameha united the Hawaiian Islands into one royal kingdom. But one island was more difficult to conquer. Kamakapili has more in tonight's Aloha Authentic. In Hawaii, names are very important. Do you know the meaning of the street that you live on? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the Pai Aina so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new about Hawaii and our history. This week, we take our attention to what is nicknamed the Garden Isle. In the Ahupua'a of Honolulu, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a street given the name of our neighbor island and the oldest. We're talking about Kauai Street. At approximately 5 million years old, the island of Kauai is the oldest of the eight main Hawaiian islands. In January of 1778, Captain James Cook became the first foreigner, or haole, to arrive in Hawaii. After sailing past the island of Oahu two days prior, he landed on the shores of Waimea, Kauai. As Kauai was the first island to be exposed to the Western world, it became the last to be included into the Hawaiian Kingdom. The conquest of King Kamehameha I to unify all the Hawaiian Islands under his rule included victories via battle. But when it came to the islands of Kauai and Ni'ihau, nicknamed the Unconquered Kingdom, victory took a different path. King Kamehameha did try to invade Kauai on two separate occasions, but was unsuccessful on both. A storm swamped many of the king's canoes on his first attempt, and an epidemic rampaged his second. In an effort to prevent death of his people, Kauai's King Kaumualii agreed to peacefully relinquish his sovereignty. As a result, in 1810, King Kamehameha solidified the Hawaiian Kingdom with the inclusion of Kauai and Ni'ihau, but allowed Kaumualii to remain as king and continue his responsibilities as head of the Western Islands. Did you know? Now you do. <laughs> 